In this video, let us look into the construction of a grouped frequency distribution. Now, the, the following steps is used in the construction of a grouped frequency distribution. The first step in the construction of a grouped frequency distribution is to determine the maximum and minimum value of the variate occurring in the data. The second step, decide upon the number of classes to be formed. Note that the number of classes should be in range of 5 to 15. The third step, find the difference between the maximum value and minimum value and divide this difference by the number of classes to be formed to determine the class interval. The difference between the maximum value and minimum value in a data is called storage. The third step, find the difference between the maximum value and minimum value and divide this difference by the number of classes to be formed to, to determine the class interval. The difference between the maximum value and minimum value in a data is called range. The fourth step, be sure that there must be classes with us to include minimum and maximum occurring in the data. The fifth step, take each item from the data one at a time and put a mark against the class to which the item belongs. If the marks are more than four, then record them in the bunches of five. The fifth one is marked by crossing diagonally the first four. The sixth step now. By counting, determine the total number of marks in each class, which gives us the frequency of class. And the seventh step. Check that the total of all frequencies is same as the total number of observations. And the final step, the eighth one, give a suitable title to the frequency table so that it conveys exactly what the table is about. Now this video will become even more clear when you look into the forthcoming videos which will illustrate the mentioned points here in the construction of a grouped frequency distribution. This ends this video.